deadly dog attack in Margate where a woman was killed and a man was injured. Today, that dog was put down. Local 10's Terrell Fournay live in Margate with this story. Terrell. Well, that dog had been in quarantine since Friday of last week, but we're told that the decision was made last night to put this animal down. And we know that under the dangerous dog policy, uh, there are a couple of uh, criteria, a couple of rules that were followed. Primarily, the first one is that the owner, we know, gave up his rights to the ownership of this dog. And also, there was really no guarantee that this animal would not attack another human being in the future. What do you want to see happen to Smokey? <laughs> that dog should die. An angry, emotional Joe Varnese got his wish. Smokey, the five-year-old American bulldog, has been humanely euthanized days after the animal attacked him and mauled to death his 84-year-old mother, Carolyn Varnese. If I had a gun, I would have killed him. You know, he killed a human being. He should never be out there for in the society. Joe adopted Smokey three weeks ago from the animal shelter in Miami-Dade, where selling and owning pit bulls have been banned countywide for three decades. On the agency's website, there are multiple American bulldogs and mixes still up for adoption. Legal because animal advocates say these breeds are unfairly and incorrectly grouped into the umbrella term pit bulls. The breeds specifically banned include American Pit Bull Terriers, American Staffordshire Terriers, Staffordshire Bull Terriers, and mixes of each. Dahlia Keynes, who runs the Miami Coalition Against Breed-Specific Legislation, has been fighting Miami-Dade's ban for years. I can tell you, Terrell, it's a matter of time before the ban is removed. She notes there are no similar outright pit bull bans on the books in Broward County. In fact, state law prohibits municipalities from creating any new breed specific legislation. The state and counties do have dangerous dog ordinances that outline how to handle animals involved in deadly attacks like the one in Margate that severely injured Joe and claimed the life of his elderly wheelchair bound mother. Dogs don't just simply snap like that. That dog was a rescue dog. Hell knows what that dog went through, what that dog was trained to do. Something triggered it. I didn't see any signs at all that he was vicious, violent. He hardly ever barked. And Dahlia, that animal advocate in no way is blaming the family here for what went happened. Remember, they only own this dog for three weeks. In fact, she has uh, expressed her uh, condolences to this family. In the meantime, Joe, we know, is still in the process of planning his mother's funeral. Reporting live from Margate, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.